kids, I'm Pearl the Mermaid and this is my best friend Cecil the Sea Lion. Today's adventure is called Beach Bummer. In it, we learn how important it is to be a kind and caring friend. That's right, Pearl. When you see a friend in need, lend them a hand if you can. <laughs> or a fin. Or a flipper. <laughs> Helping is a great way to show others that you care. And remember, if you want to be a caring friend, you've got to have a plan. Like we always say, set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. It's another beautiful day off the coast of Southern California. Sally the seagull is on the beach building a sandcastle, while Cecil and I sun ourselves on some nearby rocks. Wow, Sally, that's an amazing sandcastle. Ah, thanks, Cecil. I've been working on it all day. It's going to be my masterpiece. It certainly is. I've never seen such a magnificent castle before. And I'm almost done, too. I have a very special piece of beach glass to put at the top. It's orange. The only one like it in my whole collection. Once I put it up there, it'll be perfect. Cool sand castle. That looks like so much fun. Sally, can we thank you? Henry! Harold, no way! You're too little. Plus, you don't know any of my special sandcastle building techniques. You'll just wreck it. Now shoot! Oh man, we just wanted to help. After Henry and Harold the hermit crab shuffled away sadly, Sally hopped onto the top of her castle with a piece of orange sea glass stuck in her beak. She was just about to put it into place when a salty ocean breeze started to blow and the waves on the shore started to crash. Suddenly, there was a huge wave coming right at Sally and her sandcastle. Sally, look out! But it was too late. The giant wave crashed over Sally, crumbling her sandcastle and sending Sally crashing onto the sand. Oh no! My sandcastle! My sea glass! And... ouch! My wing! I think there's something wrong with my wing! Sally's parents, who had seen the whole thing from their perch on a nearby cliff, rushed to Sally's side. Oh, my poor baby chick. That looks like it hurts. Let's take you to Dr. Dorado to have that checked out right away. This started out being such a swimmingly perfect day, but now my sandcastle is ruined, my sea glass is gone, and my wing is hurt. I'm so sad. As Sally's parents led her away, Cecil and I stayed behind and looked at the mess on the beach. There were sandcastle parts, seaweed, and seashells everywhere. Everything Sally had worked so hard on was gone. Cecil and I felt so badly for poor Sally, we decided then and there that we'd make a plan to make things better for her. The first thing that Cecil and I did was clean up the beach where Sally's prized sandcastle had been. We picked up the shells and seaweed, smoothed out the sand, and started to rebuild Sally's castle just as it had been before. We made blocks out of the wet sand and put them together very carefully, making sure it was strong and sturdy. When we were finished, Cecil and I were very proud of what we'd done, but something still wasn't quite right. That looks pretty good, but I think there's something missing. The, the sea glass! glass! That's when we put the next part of our plan into action. Cecil and I divided the beach into sections and we were each in charge of searching a different patch of sand. We dove down over and over looking for Sally's special piece of orange sea glass. But try as we might, we just couldn't find it. Hi Pearl, hi Cecil, what you doing? We're looking for a piece of orange sea glass that Sally lost. A wave hit her sandcastle and smashed it and the sea glass was tossed somewhere near the beach. Pearl and I rebuilt her sandcastle, but we just can't find her sea glass anywhere. Ah, oh, poor Sally. Maybe Henry and I could help you. We're excellent finders. Oh, that would be fantastic. The baby hermit crabs were right. They were excellent finders. They crawled all over the beach, sifting through the sand with their tiny claws. They were even able to fit into all of the nooks and crannies that Cecil and I couldn't reach. Uh, hey, everyone. I found it. I found the sea glass. We let out a collective cheer of excitement just as Sally returned to the beach. Her wing was in a sling, but she was otherwise just fine. She was very surprised to see her sandcastle still standing. My sandcastle is back. I'm so happy. Pearl, Cecil, did you do this for me? We did, with a little help from our friends. <laughs> Here you 
you go, Sally. We're sorry about your wing. Hope you feel better soon. My sea glass! I thought this was lost forever. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Harold. Uh, it was no trouble. Anything for a friend. Henry, Harold, I'm so sorry I wasn't very nice to you both earlier. I should have been more thoughtful and included you in my building project. How about I make it up to you? by showing you some of my best sandcastle building techniques. You and Harold can build your own castles right here next to mine. It'll be a whole sandcastle village. Yay! And thank you too, Pearl and Cecil, for showing me that you care. It means a lot. This really is the best day ever. We all learned a very important lesson that day. Caring is contagious. When you show others that you care, it inspires them to do the same for someone else. An act of kindness is a lot like throwing a pebble into the water. When a tiny pebble breaks the surface, you can watch the ripples expand all across the ocean. Caring is like that too. The ripples from a single act of caring expand far and wide and eventually touch everyone and everything around it. Caring makes the whole ocean a happier place to swim in. Remember, you can be a caring friend too if you set your mind to it. All you have to do is set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. The Sand Dollar Savings Club is happy for you. Sand Dollar.